Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today we will be having another session for use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let's see what is our use case. So make change request form non-editable completely on closer. So we will be making our change request form non-editable when the change request is closed. So let's move further in my personal developer instance and show how we can implement this use case. Okay. As you can see, our personal developer instance is loaded and now I will show you how we can do change request form non-editable when change request is closed. Okay. So now let's move further and see how we can do this type of requirement or business use case which will be asked from client many times. Okay. So let's move and see how we can implement this. So let me try to open change request list first. You can see currently our form is in new state and we will implement for closed state. Okay, so let me find uh, if we have any change request that is under closed state. So let me do a group by here. Yeah, we have multiple change requests which is under closed state. Okay, so let me try to pick it, pick it up and see currently our form. Okay, so currently let me just add some detail here because this change request is not closed correctly. So now we will not get any alert here. So you can see our form is closed, but we are seeing some of the fields editable here you can see description short description editable you can see only couple of fields those are uh, grayed out but what we have to do is like we have to gray out this complete form on closer the user should not be able to edit anything as part of this change request whenever our change request is closed okay so now let's check how we can implement those so I will create a client script here, onload client script and I will write some code that will high, that will make a form grayed out completely on closed state. So let me select all and onload client script here and now what I will do is like I will get the value from state g form, g form dot get value state let me check whether the state field yeah that is state only okay so now let me let me check the condition here state is closed so now let's see what we will do here is like first we will write some code here
so using this i will i will be getting all the editable fields which are editable on current form okay now i will create a var loop here So this is my complete script which I have written for this and uh, let's check what happens on change request form after writing this script okay whether the form is setting as read only or not okay so let me try to reload this change request form so now you can see our form is completely loaded and you can see our fields are non editable all the places okay so all the form is read only you can see each and every fields are read only but you can see the state is uh, still editable because what happens is like the ACL is written for this admin users so this admin user is overriding this so that's why it is setting as uh, this state field is showing as editable so let me try to impersonate some uh, non admin users so let me try to impersonate this adela and let's see whether this person is able to see the state field as editable okay so form itself is not displayed to him because he is not itl user so let me impersonate with itl users here so let me try to this uh, let me try to reload this change request form again okay and you can see state is still editable so we can check that why it is show why it is so so let me try to end impersonation here So let me try to imp uh, configure security rules there would be a chance there would be some ACL written here so let me try to find right ACL you can see we are having ACL for change request dot state as write operation and we will see the write operation access so write operation access to uh, has been given to all okay so let me try to deactivate this acl and you will see the form will be completely grayed out so let me just uh, let me just do a elevate role like uh, let me get security admin checkbox checked so that i will get access to modify those acls okay so let me try to reload this acl and what i will do is like i will just do this access control as inactive
okay now let's try to reload our change request form and see whether the state field is still editable yeah it's, it's still editable so that could be a case because this is admin users so let me try to impersonate uh, itil user and let's try to see whether the state field is read only or not okay so i think uh, let me check this acl again or let me check maybe something else some uh, client script or ui policy might be executing here so let me try to check that okay you can see there are multiple things which is doing a conflict here so we can see read only state one ui policy is there whenever approval is requested and on hold is set as true it will be setting state as read only but it will be executing reverse for this ui policy if suppose this condition are not matching so the field will be editable because of this only our state field conflict is uh, displaying uh, in our change request form okay otherwise this script will be working fine okay so you can see all the fields are read only just the state field because that is uh, doing a conflict with other ui policies so we have to restrict those ui policies first so as to execute as per business needs okay so as we all know that uh, some changes is required whenever new requirement comes from customer side right so this is all about how we can set the form read only for particular table like change request and we can do it for other table as well like incident service request catalog item everywhere okay please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it